What's good, homies? We about to be litty, no cap. You found the Madden plug. Now hit that like, hit that subscribe, and turn that naughty bell on. I'm about to put you on. Coin making methods, no money spent tips, budget beats on the 500 bands, 300 bands, 100 bands. Whatever you need, I got you. I got that daily Madden work. Now let's get it. You heard? Say, hey, yo, hey, yo, no shmoney spank gang, we in a building and you know that, what is shaking, yo, you really know what time it is, man, holla at me, if you new to the channel, man, hit that like, hit that subscribe, and turn that naughty bell to fuck on, we is all the way to fuck, let you dig, you already know, if it's your first time on the channel, man, check it out. I'm about to show you a graph, a graph just like this. And I do this type of graph for every single promo. And what I'm doing on the graph is I'm looking for budget beasts. And I take those budget beasts and I compare them to the best card in that position, if not the most expensive card in that position. I'm here to help you save some chicken, you dig? Damn, son. With that being said, man, let's get right into it. You. Already know, man. Yo, they ended up dropping AKA Cruz and they ended up dropping some Super Bowl past LTD. So, we're gonna be going over all of those cards and seeing what's shaking out here, man. You know what I mean? Like, we, we gotta see what's popping out here. Shout out, to, shout out to the boss, Cinderella, man. You already know, my man, Kurt Warner. If you haven't seen this movie, go check it out, man. That joint lit. It lit. I ain't gonna lie. It'll, it'll touch you, brother. You know what I mean? I mean, Pulse. But where's the boy? There you go right there. Okay. My man. Cinderella, man. Kurt Warner. 95 overall. 500K. Man, you know the slogan, man. 500K, we ain't going to pay. All right. So, with that being said, we are going to compare Kurt Warner to some of the best quarterbacks and some Budget Beast quarterbacks to see exactly where he at, bro. These, we're going to compare him to probably the best quarterback in the game right now currently next to CJ Stroud and Air McNair. The ball, Doug Williams, man, 500K, not a bad price, not a bad price at all, man. But we also, also going to be throwing in there, you know, we got to throw in there William Perry, man, for the simple fact that he is an LTD. So if you buy him for 500K, you save that 350 quick sell value. Theoretically, you're only paying 150 bands for the ball. I ain't going to lie to you, man. It's tempting. I might cop the ball, save some chicken. You know what I mean? Trying to save some bread. Anyways, we're going to... when. We're going to compare all three of these dudes. You already know where we're going, man. We got to pull out the ball. Where's Josh Allen? Give me Josh Allen. We're going to compare him to Jordan Love, who Jordan Love is going for about 200 bands, all right? And we are going to be throwing in there Josh Allen, who you can get for about 240 bands, all right? So don't be, don't be getting got out there, man. Anyways, from left to right, we got Doug Williams in blue. He has a traditional full release. In red, we got Kurt Warner, Cinderella Man, Gen 2 release. In green, we got William Perry, traditional four release. Josh Allen in purple, Slinger 3 release. And then in the baby blue, we have Jordan Love with the Slinger 1 release, okay? Now, you guys know all these dudes discounted abilities. If you don't, comment it down. I'll let you know, but we'll go over that too, okay? When it comes to speed, Williams, 92. Warner, 75. My man slow as dirt, man. Stop playing with him. Perry, 94. Allen, 90. Love, 92. When it comes to throw power, Williams, 96. Kurt Warner, OP, 97. Everybody else is a 90 fitted it out. You know what I mean? When it comes to short accuracy, Williams and Warner, both 90. Perry and Allen, both 91. Love, 92. When it comes to medium accuracy, Williams, 90. Warner, 94. Perry and Allen, both at 90. Love, 91. When it comes to deep accuracy, 
Williams, 92. Warner, 93. Whoop Perry, 90. Allen, OP, 96. Love, 90. When it comes to throw under pressure, Williams and Warner, both 97. Perry, 95. Allen, 95. Love, 93. Hey, yo. Is Kurt Warner worth 400 bands? At 75 speed, Brody, man, that's, that's your only downfall. But I will say that he gets Fearless for 2 AP, Sefi Lee for 3 AP, Hot Rod Master for 1 AP, and Gunslinger for 2 AP. Yo, Abilities is lit. Abilities is lit. He's slow as dirt, though. 97 throw power, fire. Short accuracy, solid. 94 medium is solid. Well, not it's fire. And then 93 deep, fire. 97 throwing the pressure. Dope. I like the card. I don't like the speed, though, man. Like, y'all could have gave him, like, an 80, man. So, you know what I mean? And it's a Gen 2 release. Sorry, y'all. I'm out to pass on that. I call it a mid card. Dope abilities, mid card. Just, just keeping it a thousand. I would much rather take the 400 bands and drop it on Doug Williams, who got Hot Rod Master for 1 AP, Seth Lee 4 AP, you know, uh, QB Playmaker 1 AP, Gunslinger 2 AP, and he's a 92 speed, 96 throw power, 90 medium and short, 92 deep is solid, 97 throwing the pressure is fire, but overall, truthfully, you can still get Perry right now. And Perry is solid because he's a LTD. You know what I mean? He got dope stats. But when you look at it, Josh Allen just has almost the same abilities as William Perry. Honest, it's just a difference in release. And Josh Allen has a better deep accuracy. But you know what I mean? At the end of the day, he still has the same throw under pressure. It's really about the release. If you like traditional full better, Perry's your guy. Josh Allen, to me, I like it. He was free 99, so I'm going to stick with Allen on that one. But for the right price, you already know Allen is obviously my choice. You know what I mean? Anyways, let's get into the next card. The next card is going to be the ball. Tory Holt. Hey, yo, man. How many Tory Holt cards have we sent? <laughs> Let me stop hating, yo. Let me stop hating. Where the ball at? Where's the ball at? I ain't even going to hate today. Tory Holt, 500 bands. Hey, yo. Well, you know we're going to compare him to my man Plexico Burris, man. Plexico Burris, where you at, brody? Don't shoot yourself in the leg, man. Wait, oh, he's a 96, right? My man Plexico Burris still probably going for the hot 2 milli, man. 2 milli. Hey, yo, man. So we're going to compare him. So Plexico Burris, we are going to be throwing in this a budget beast. My man Rod Smith going in there 200 and you get him for about 230 bands. Solid pickup. I like the joint. We're also going to throw in there my man Steve Larger, 300 bands. Solid option. Short but solid. All right? And we are going to throw in there Randy Moss because Randy Moss is actually at a dope price right now, which is about 450 bands. Technically, you're only paying 100k for the ball. You dig what I'm saying, man? Anyways, let's take a look at the chart so you guys can see where these dudes stack up. Okay, now from left to right in blue, we got Plexico Burris, 6'5". Tory Holt in red, he is 6 foot. Steve Larger in green, he is 5'11". Randy Moss in purple, he is 6'4". Rod Smith in the baby blue, he is 6 foot. When it comes to speed, to Plexico Burris, OP 96. Everybody else is a 95. Acceleration, Burris, 94, Holt, 97, Largent, 91, Moss, 94, Smith, 91. Catching, everybody's a 93 except for Holt, who's a 92. Short accuracy, Burris, 95, Holt, 93. Largent, 95, Moss, 91, Smith, 95, man. When it comes to medium accuracy, Burris, 91, Holt, 93, Large, 90, Moss, 92, Smith, 90. When it comes to deep route run, Burris, OP, 96, Holt, 95, Large, 90, and then you got Moss and Smith both at 93. Now, truthfully, is Tory Holt worth 500 bands? 95 speed, 97 excel, 92 cash, 93 short, 93 medium, 95 deep route running. Yo, the card is fire. And he comes with wide receiver apprentice for one AP. I like the card. I think it's heat. But too pricey for my blood. But you still can't go wrong. If, if 500k 
if you really want to invest that into something, you can invest it into Randy Moss. But Randy Moss is not going to come with wide receiver apprentice. That's the only difference. Now, if you want wide receiver apprentice, you can get that with Rod Smith. You know what I'm saying? He, he gets that for 1 AP. And he got decent stats. He got a 95 speed, 93 catch, 95 short, 90 medium, 93 deep. It's a solid card. And he's probably like, what, the same height? As Tory Holt, the only thing, the only thing, like I can't lie to you, Tory Holt has fire stats. 93 short, 93 medium, 95 deep. That's all fire. But 500 bands, I give you, I give you 350. Truthfully, you know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, man, Steve Large is still, he might turn up for you. 95 short, not, not the craziest like medium and deepest, but he got a 95 short. And if you out there dumping him off, he gonna hold it down for you. But shout out to Tory Holt for getting that car, man. Truthfully, I'd rather much go with Randy Moss because Randy Moss has a 96 spec catch at the end of the day. And he's 6'4", 95 speed, 94 excel, 93 catching, 91 short, 92 medium, 93. Solid stats. Not better than Tory's, but he's 6'4". And he got a 96 spec catch. Tory Holt only has a 92 spec catch. You see what I'm saying? Anyways, let's get into the next position. We're going to be talking about the Bull Night Train Lane. Hey, yo. Shout out to the Goonie, man. This dude always gets glitchy cards, bro. If y'all don't know about this dude, he gets glitchy cards, all right? So, we got Mel Blunt, K okay, number one. Came out today. Super Bowl pass promo, 2 million. And then we got Night Train Lane. 2 milli as well. We're going to put both of these dudes on a chart and we're going to put them on there with some budget beasts. And I'm honestly, I have to put this card on here because these, the speed on these dudes is so OP that if you honestly really want to keep up with them, you got to drop a bag. So I got to throw in there Herb Adderley because he's the closest one and the cheapest one if you want to try to keep up with these dudes. Okay. You're going to see once we look at the stats why I say this. So we're gonna throw him in there, and then we're gonna throw in there some budget beasts. We are gonna throw in there uh, Steven Nelson. I should have thrown that. Steven Nelson. We're gonna go Steven Nelson. 300 and you could get him for about 290 minimum. You know what I mean? And we are gonna throw in there the Rattler, who you can get for about two, yeah, about the same price. You get them both for about the same price, you know what I mean? Only difference with them is that they're a little bit shorter. You know what I mean? So let's take a look at the stats from left to right. Okay, this is, listen, hold, hold on to your horses when we go through this one, all right? Mel Blunt in blue, 6'3". Night Train Lane in red, 6'1". Adderley, 6'1". In green, Steve Nelson in purple, 5'11". Riley in the baby blue, 5'11". Okay, now look, look at the speeds. When it comes to speed, Mel Blunt OP... 97. Hey, yo, what the fuck? Yo, 97. He becomes the fastest corner in the game. All right. Night Train Lane. 96. Adderley, 96. See the difference? You got to put Adderley in there if you want to keep up. 500 bands, though, is a lot. You feel me? But Lane and Mel Blanc, both 2 million apiece. All right, so Adderley is the cheapest one if you want that type of speed, all right? Nelson and Rattler, both 95 speed, okay? That's just the way it is, brodies. Acceleration, Mel Blunt, 94. Lane, 93. Adderley, 91. Nelson, 94. Riley, 91. When it comes to jumping, Blunt, 95. Lane, OP, 97. Hey, yo, what the fuck? Everybody else is a 94, okay? When it comes to man coverage, Blunt, 96, Lane, 97, Adderley, 95, Nelson, 93, Riley, 95. When it comes to zone coverage, Blunt and Lane, both 94, Adderley, 95, Nelson, 90, Riley, 95. When it comes to press, Blunt, Adderley, Nelson, and Riley, all 94, Lane 90. He always got he always they always gave him a weak press. I don't know why they do that to the ball. Anyways, is Bell Blunt and Lane worth two million piece? Dumb, are you dumb? Stupid, I'm dumb. Huh? Brody, I'm not paying two million. If you got the bag, then God bless you. You dropping a bag on these dudes. 
I'm not gonna say they're not fire because they is fire. But damn, bro, these two milli, two milli. Shout out to everybody. Shout out to everybody that got these cards. If you got these cards, put yo comment it down in the comments. Cause yo, shout out to you, big dogs. You out here balling on. You out here mad and balling. You know what I mean? Anyways, these two cards is fire. They OP. They OP is for You know what I mean? Like, there's no way around it. Zero AP pick artist for Mel Blunt. Medium route KO 1 AP. Short route KO 1 AP. Deep route KO 2 AP. Deep end zone KO 2 AP. I mean, come on, bro. These, I gotta keep going. Deep out, for, for Nitro and Lane, deep out zone KO 1 AP. Deep route KO 2 AP. Medium route KO 1 AP. I mean, come on. They lit, bro. These, they lit, lit. But... For 500 bands, you can still get Adderley, 96 speed, 91 excel, 94 jump, 95 man, 95 zone, 94 press. I like this Adderley card, and it's about a fraction, a fraction of what these dudes are going for. You see what I'm saying? So if you want to say some chicken man, go get Adderley, truthfully. But I'll be honest with you, Nelson and Riley, they're going to hold it down for you. When you look at Nelson, he got a... 93 man, 90 zone, which is solid. 94 press, solid. Riley, I like Riley just a little bit better because he has the 95 man, the 95 zone, 94 press, 94 jump, solid, 95 speed. I would probably pick Riley and maybe if I had the bread, I would pick Adderley and Riley. Or, you know what I mean? Like pick and choose. But damn, you know, shout out, shout out to Mel Blunt and the Bull Night Train Lane, man. OP cards, man. The game is about to be different online. Go get yourself an Adderley car if you want. <laughs> no, let me stop. Let me stop. Yo, God bless, man. I, I love this game, man. When, when they drop OP cars like this, it just makes you want to go online and go, you know what I mean? Go get that smoke. You know what I'm saying? Like, go see what's shaking out there. Go see what's fragging out there. Anyways, man. Let's get into the last card. Last card is going to be tight end. Dave Casper, LTD, going for 1.9 milli. Shout out to the ball, man. Shout out to the Raiders. I hope y'all do something this year, man. I'm tired of seeing y'all spend mad bread and not do nothing, man. All right, here we go. We're going to compare Dave Casper to the ball. George Kittle. 300 bands. Yeah, man. 300 bandos. And we're going to compare him to, of course, you know I'm going to do it. You know I got to do it. Because he's on my team. I got to do it. It's still a fire card. Vernon Davis going for about 138 bands. We got to throw him in there. But keep in mind, George Kittle is going down in price. Look at that, 300K. This is a steal right here. If y'all want, y'all, y'all want Kittle, go get him right now. The official tissue, man. Anyways, so from left to right, we got Dave Casper in blue. He is 6'4". George Kittle in red. He is 6'4". Vernon Davis in green. He is 6'3". When it comes to speed, Casper 95. Kittle and Davis. Both 94, Casper becomes the fastest tight end in the game. When it comes to acceleration, Casper 96, Kittle and Davis both 91. When it comes to catching, Casper 93, Kittle 96, Davis 91. When it comes to short route running, Casper 90, Kittle 94, Davis 93. When it comes to medium route running, Casper 97, Kittle and Davis both 91. Run block. Casper, 88. Kittle, 84. Davis, 64. Okay? Is he worth 1.9 million? Yo, listen. He has tight end apprentice for 1 AP. You could get that on Kittle and Vernon Davis. I'm not saying he bad because he has a dope run block. 88 run block. 90 short, 97 medium. 95 speed. I like the speeds. I like the card. I like the stats. But truthfully, I would much rather pay a cheaper price. Sound like 300k versus 2 milli for the bull George Kittle. If I'm looking for a running block uh, tight end. A little bit slower. Once One point slower. But I still I would rather get the Kittle. But shout out to Dave Casper for getting a fire card, man. I like it. But it's nothing, it's nothing crazy to me. He does get short and elite and mid and elite for 1 AP. You know what I mean? But a lot of the, these Super Bowl cards come with those tokens. Those lit, those stay lit tokens. That's what makes them so expensive. Anyways, man. If that video helped you out, hit that like, hit that subscribe, and turn that naughty bell the fuck on, you dig? Oh,